Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss comparison between direct shear test and triaxial compression test. In direct shear test, the sample preparation is easy. The test is simple and convenient. Whereas in triaxial compression test, the sample preparation is comparatively more difficult and two different methods are followed for the preparation of cohesive soil and cohesionless soil. The apparatus used for direct shear test is cheap. The apparatus is consolidometer which is cheap. Whereas the apparatus used in triaxial compression test is elaborate, costly and bulky. In direct shear test, the thickness of the sample is small. That's why drainage is quick and the pore pressure dissipates very rapidly. Whereas in drain a triaxial compression test, the drainage takes longer pe period because the thickness of the sample is more. Direct shear test is ideally suited for conducting drain tests on cohesionless soils. Whereas triaxial compression test is suitable for accurate research work. In direct shear test, the stress conditions are known only at the failure. The conditions prior to the failure are indeterminate and therefore more circle cannot be drawn. We can only get failure envelope. In triaxial compression test, the state of stresses at all intermediate stages up to failure is known. That's why more circle can be drawn at any stage of the shear. The orientation of failure plane in direct shear test is fixed. The horizon means in direct shear test the failure takes place only in horizontal direction that is at the center of the sample. This plane may or may not be the weakest plane. In triaxial compression test, the specimen is free to fail at any weakest plane. In direct shear test, control on the drainage condition is very difficult. Consequently, only drain test can be conducted on highly permeable soil. Because in undrained test, pore water pressure measurement is quite difficult. As there is complete control over drainage condition is triaxial compression test. This test can be easily conducted for all types of drainage conditions. The measurement of pore water pressure is not possible in direct shear test. Whereas in triaxial compression test, pore water pressure changes and the volumetric changes can be measured easily. The side walls of the shear box in direct shear test causes lateral restraint on the specimen and do not allow it to deform laterally. That means in direct shear test only vertical deformation takes place and cross sectional area of the sample remains constant. Whereas in triaxial compression test, the specimen undergo lateral deformation. It is not possible to determine the cross-sectional area of the specimen accurately at larger strain. That means in triaxial compression test, when we apply pressure, the thickness of sample decreases as well as its cross-sectional area is increased. It can be approximately measured at lower strains. But at larger strength, it cannot be measured accurately. Thank you.